well, tell us a little bit about Neighbor. Uh, how'd you guys get started? People have probably seen uh, you guys out there. You've been growing like crazy, which is amazing. Uh, tell us more about kind of the the origin story and, and what got you to here. Yeah, I think um, we started the same way a lot of good businesses start. I'm sure some of your businesses as well. But my, my co-founder actually had the need himself. I don't think any of us were trying to start a business. It wasn't on our roadmap or or kind of a goal for any of us. But my co-founder, um, he had just gotten married. And about a week after he got married, he and his new wife flew down to South America to work for this humanitarian org down in South America. And they needed a place to put their now combined items while they were gone. And they looked into getting a storage unit and had the same experience that I think everyone has when they try to get a storage unit. And that is that all the facilities close by were totally full. So they were going to have to drive to the next city over just to find one with vacancy. And they were going to charge hundreds of dollars a month. And he was like, I don't pay hundreds of dollars a month for anything. Uh, (laughs) So you know, he, he found a friend that was letting willing to let him store in his garage and dropped their items off in his friend's garage. And when he got back four months later, he went to pick his items up. And as he's pulling the items out of this garage, he just had the thought, you know, why doesn't everyone do this? Why isn't there? This is such a better experience for me and my wife. I felt a lot more peace of mind storing my items in a nice, clean garage in a neighborhood I trusted. Plus, I saved a bunch of money. There's got to be empty garages or, or space in every neighborhood in the country. Why isn't there some sort of platform or marketplace or directory where you can go like look and see what space is available around you? And and so the idea for Neighbor was born. He pulled myself and our other co-founder Colton on and uh, we started working on it our senior year of school. Um, our last semester, we all called our full-time jobs and uh, that were lined up for after we graduated and said, hey, we're not going to show up and just did it full time. <laughs> Dude, that's amazing. Uh, that's really incredible. I think that's a, a very common feeling amongst everyone. I've had those moments of putting stuff in storage and you have this little tiny lock and you're like, well, oh, that's that's all that's protecting everything that I own that has value. So, yeah, a lot of people. Uh, well, I was I was talking to a reporter down in San Diego a month or two ago and I was telling him. You know, we were talking about some of the the safety stats in the storage industry. And I was telling him how, you know, something like one in 10 storage facilities gets broken into every single year because they're, they're very low safety. But you know there's items there, so they're kind of targets uh, for, yeah. for theft. And the reporter was like, oh, you don't need to tell me. I cover, like, I cover, like, the local beat. I do a story once a month on a store, self-storage break-in in San Diego. It's, it's, <laughs> They are not like, great places. I know. Items. <laughs> yeah. No, I think that's a, I think that's a really great point. So you guys uh, have this idea. What were some of the things that kind of like, I think, I think that's one of the challenges of entrepreneurship, especially as you're, you know, you guys were in school, you hadn't started a company before. What were some of those learnings that you had as you started to get going of things that were surprising of like, oh, I didn't think that I would spend this much time doing this, or I didn't think this would be as hard as, uh, as it turned out to be. Yeah. I think the recurring surprise is just like how wrong you are about every assumption you have. Um, like all the things we thought would be, would be issues, uh, have not been issues in the business. Yeah. All all the things that, you know, some, some of the things that, there are challenges we didn't even think about. I'll I'll give an example. I thought if you're starting a marketplace, one of the biggest things to solve for storage would be that if a storage facility, you put your items there and they can kind of sit there forever and and the storage facility is never going to kick you out, right? But if you store with a neighbor, that neighbor might move and then your items would need to be moved. Get transferred and yeah. Answered, and I was like, "This is this is the biggest problem to solve in this business, and it has not even been an issue. Like it, it, <laughs> it hardly ever occurs that we have to take a renter's items out of a space where they're already at. Like 
very rare. We have we have active users in ev almost every city in every state in the country at this point. And like it's it's not even on the top like 10, you know, 20 list of, of things that like people call into customer support about. So like just totally wrong about that assumption. Um, uh, some things on, on the flip side is like, you know, you think that, oh, uh, uh, you know, I think everyone goes into a marketplace thinking like, oh, it'll be easy to balance this supply and demand. You just get enough demand for the supply and enough supply for the demand. And like, it is, it, it is the classic marketplace story where you spend a lot <laughs> yeah. trying to correctly balance those, especially as you scale across the country. And, yeah. um, uh, yeah, the larger you get, the more I think it gets pushed to one side, right? Or one side yeah. being lagging the other side. Uh, but it, it's it's just a constant thing. Of course, I think a lot of marketplaces, they think it's like a uniquely marketplace problem. They're like, oh, only marketplaces deal with this chicken and egg problem. We're so special or unique, and this is like so hard. But I I I've thought several times throughout the course of the business, like pretty much every business deals with this. Like Walmart, uh, they have to have supply on the shelves. If you show up and there's not, yeah. there's not an item you're looking for on the shelf, you're not going to purchase an item. And so like they have the exact same issues. If you look at the supply chain issues that, that uh, companies are dealing with nationwide, every company is ultimately sourcing a product and selling the product to someone who wants the product. And so I'm, I don't think marketplaces are quite as special as we make them out to be.